how to make a computer. And it's a kid thing, so it's easy for kids. All right, today we're gonna to walk through the unboxing and setup of the Kano computer kit. So you can make your own computer at home. So this uh, comes with everything you need other than a computer monitor or a TV. Uh, you can see everything that's in the box here, Raspberry Pi, memory card, and uh, all the other cool stuff to make your own computer. So once it's all set up, you can see you can use YouTube, Google Maps, uh, Wikipedia, all kinds of stuff. And then there's some other custom apps that they've added in there to learn coding. It's all running on the Raspberry Pi. This one's a Model B Raspberry Pi 3. Make your own computer. All right, so this comes with a manual. You open that up and can follow along. Uh, the, comp the, <laughs> the Kano, make your own computer. Uh, it's got all kinds of cool stuff. Simple steps. It's pretty easy. Build it yourself. You can learn to code, hack Minecraft. That's pretty cool. You get in, you can play Minecraft, make some scripts uh, to auto build some stuff, and you can make your own apps and art and music and other stuff. It's uh, ages six plus, uh, but really, if you're helping your kids out, uh, they'll love it. You can play Minecraft, all that fun stuff. So once you get into your manual, you'll see you've got an HDMI cable, power cable, keyboard, mouse, everything you need to set up your own computer. Uh, box, it's pretty cool. Everything's packed in this little box here that you need. And the front here just kind of flips open. And once you pull it up, you can see you've got the instruction manual, pull out the foam, everything's in there nice and nice and neat. Everything has its own spot. you got your stack of your manual, walks you through how to set it up and build it, all that fun stuff. And it's got some stickers on here. You can decorate your Kano, add your name, uh, anything else you want on there, make it look cool. Some stickers, and then you know they want you to go on and promote their product, all that stuff on Facebook. Um, but we just really enjoyed building it together and setting up an account and starting to learn how to code. All right, inside the box, you can see everything's in here. Uh, if you want to travel with it, it's really nice. It kind of fits all back in the box. Instruction manual is pretty simple, straightforward to follow through. It's got lots of pictures, tells you everything you need to know. Uh, it's just plug and play, connect everything up, hook it up, hit the power button, and you're ready to go. Each page kind of gives you step-by-step -step building your Kano, hooking everything up with a Raspberry Pi, put it in its case, connect it to your TV, and troubleshooting stuff in there. We didn't have any issues. Uh, it was pretty straightforward. you got your keyboard, like a miniature keyboard. On the right side there, you've got uh, your trackpad and your mouse, some status LEDs, your HDMI cable. It's not extra long, so if you're kind of far from your monitor, or you want to route some cables around, you might need a longer cable. Got your power cord, it's just a micro USB. Uh, it's standard phone charger for some older phones. And then you got the wall wart. Uh, this is like a regular phone charger. You can use other, other ones if you've got them laying around. It's got the USB connection on it. So you can put in the wall and charges. All your other stuff in here, you got some LEDs that'll attach, that'll light up once you're programming. Got a memory card, a power button, all that connects up to your Kano. So the LED add-on, it's sometimes they're called a hat. It's got all these different LEDs, and it'll just plug into your GPIO header on your Raspberry Pi. You can see the black connector on the back. Got your power button, it's just a little red plastic cap that'll snap onto your Raspberry Pi. And then you got your Raspberry Pi in your case. You can see it's uh, all bundled in here. Just be careful when you're pulling it out. Try not to touch any of the electronics. You gotta worry about static shock and damaging your Raspberry Pi. You got your memory card, the micro SD. It's preloaded with everything you need to run your Kano. Uh, so keep that safe. Got your case. This just kind of snaps together. Hold your Raspberry Pi, protects it from uh, damage. So Raspberry Pis are pretty cool. You can do a lot of different things with them. This one comes preloaded. 
with the Kano software. You can hook it up to your TV. It's got a memory card slot that will slide in the memory card later. GPI hood, GPIO header for your LEDs, some USB connections, Ethernet. It does have built-in Wi-Fi that you'll set up, uh, but you can connect an Ethernet cable if you prefer. Uh, so we'll set this off to the side for now. You will be very careful with that. All right, got the lid. That'll help protect your Kano once you get it all put together, your Raspberry Pi. All right, so the memory card, you just need the micro SD part. So you pull that out, and then you'll slide it into the back side of the Raspberry Pi. You see the memory card slide on the side. And put it in. Once that's in there, you can flip it over, and you'll add the lights. Uh, these lights can you can program them to program them to do different things. They also show you when it's running There's ten different LEDs on there You can Just slide them on the GPIO header it shows you a little picture how they slide on You want to make sure you got them turned the right way so that the lights are on top of the Raspberry Pi And not hanging off the side because otherwise you've got it on backwards so each LED here are these little white blocks and then the connector on the back here would just slide on to the male connector on the Raspberry Pi. It's pretty straightforward. Lined up. Make sure you've got it started well. You don't want to bend any pins or anything, so make sure it's lined up. Push evenly on both sides. Now it's in! Uh, they got a little note in the manual to make sure it's seated all the way. Uh, the picture shows it with no gap. Ours does have a tiny little gap. You can see here, it shows a little bit of light, but it's on there good enough. It'll work. It's uh, got the right connection. Now you just put on your power button, Yay! take your little plastic cap, push it on there. You'll hear it click. Kind of give it a couple of test clicks to make sure it's on all the way. And uh, it'll hold on. All right, now the case. So the case just snaps into place. You just put your Raspberry Pi in between the two and squeeze it together and it'll snap together and it'll protect your Raspberry Pi from you know, getting smashed or anything else. It's a good idea to keep it in the case. So you just kind of set it in here, make sure it's lined up, lift it up a little bit, slide the other half under, and then give it a good squeeze. You'll hear that click. Ta-da! Uh, ours here, you can see the bottom's nice and tight, but the top has a little gap, so give it a little extra squeeze till it is all the way together and there you go you got your raspberry pi with your lights in the case you can see your usb connections you can still hook up whatever cables you need you got your hdmi power cable you can still swap out your memory card if you want without having to take it out of the case so nice little case nothing too crazy but lets you still access all the features you need from your raspberry pi and of course you gotta put the lid on Make sure nothing falls down in there, shorts out any of your components. So the lid, you just kind of take and slide it across the top. Okay, now let's put the lid on. Like so, into place, push it down, and you hear a little click, and then you know it's good to go. And once that's together, you can hook it up to your monitor or your TV, and you've got your HDMI port on the side of your Raspberry Pi. So you got your cable, you can use the provided cable or something a little longer if you want. So you flip it over here, you can see, make sure you got it orientated the right way. And uh, even though the case is on there, it'll slide in far enough that it'll make a good connection to your monitor. And hook it up to your TV monitor, or TV, hook it up to your TV or your monitor. Uh, we're just using an old Dell monitor to hook it up. It doesn't have any built-in speakers or anything, but it'll work for us. And you've got your keyboard. So this is what you'll need to control your Raspberry Pi and your Kano. So you can see you've got your touchpad on the right. And normal keyboards, a little bit smaller. It takes some getting used to if you're used to a full-size keyboard. Uh, but it'll work. It's got everything you need. And you got some LED lights up on the top right. On the back, you got your charging cable because it's got a built in battery since it remotely connects to your Raspberry Pi. For charging only. And then you got a little, you have a radio for connecting your Raspberry Pi and the power button to turn it on whenever you want to use your Kano.
All right, so you got your radio antenna. You have to hook that up to your Raspberry Pi so they can communicate. It's pretty simple. You just pull it out of the back of your keyboard. You can see ours is flashing because it's trying to talk to the Kano, but it's not on. So we'll flip it over. Just kind of pull it out of the side here. And you can see it's a regular USB connection. You can pick any USB port on your Kano. Plug it in, it'll work fine. So whichever one you want, just gonna slide it in. Make sure it's all the way in, and you're good to go. Now you can see ours is still flashing because we haven't plugged our Raspberry Pi in yet. So next, power cord. You gotta power your Raspberry Pi. So you get your Pro USB, plug it into your wall wart, or your power supply, your power block, whatever you want to call it. Make sure that's in there. Plug it into your Raspberry Pi. Now I plug it in. And you're good to go there. So now all you gotta do is plug it into the wall and it'll be ready to go. So here you can see, plug it into your nearest outlet and it'll start to power on. Once it starts to power on, you'll see these cool lights start to light up and flash, let you know it's working and thinking. It'll start to spin and stuff like that. And then you should see things start to happen on your monitor. As it boots up, you might see a couple of screens flash across uh, as it's coming through. Now you'll see our, we took a little too long, so our keyboard shut off. You want to see a nice solid green dot. If you see any of these other ones, check out the manual, see what you should do. But hit that power button, and then you should see a solid green light. That lets you know that you're linked up with your Kano and you're ready to go. So you got some cool retro graphics kind of danced across the screen. And then you get to choose your username to set up your Kano. You can put in something generic. Uh, we thought Kano Kid would be pretty cool, so we put that in there. Uh, you can set up different user profiles. So once you log in, it's pretty cool. There's some different things you can set up. You can create an avatar. You can have different accounts. You know, if you got, if you want one for you, maybe for your kids, uh, each one can have their own account and avatar. And it tracks their progress, and they can create Minecraft worlds and coding and all kinds of fun stuff. Now, in ours, we just we don't have any speakers set up right now, so it does a sound test. But when we first set it up, we didn't take the time to set up speakers. But you'll probably want to get those set up or TV. If it's a TV, they'll have built-in speakers that'll play right across the TV, so you don't have to worry about that. But it's got a little self-test in there to make sure your audio is working. Set up some more of your account. And that's all there is to it. Set up your Kano. It's, uh, you're ready to go. Get in. Set up your avatar. Start coding. Making art, music, all kinds of stuff. Lots of cool features. Uh, we'll make some follow-on videos of all the different features within the Kano. And uh, if you want to see more, like and subscribe. Thanks.